Hi guys, so this morning I have a video sponsored by Tonic Studios um, for the launch of this month's um, designer's choice. It is called Delicate Daisy. It makes a cute little box that you just saw in the intro. So uh, these items were sent free of charge for my review and all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. Super cute, you just saw it. So let's open this up and um, I do want to point out whenever you pick up the designer's choice, if that's the only thing you're ordering, you're going to get it in the mail in a beautiful um, envelope like this here. So they do have some different colorways, but it's a very pretty little envelope. And um, I believe currently in the US it's $19.99. I'm not quite sure the pricing on the U out in the UK, but I do have links for both the US uh, site and the UK site. So just make sure when you click the links there that it's the one that says United States, if that's where you are, or UK and uh, worldwide if you're not in the United States. Okay, so I'll have those two different links down there. Um, let's open this up. It looks just like this. It comes in its um, little uh, sleeve. I do have the designer's choice um, binder, very pretty. I'll have it right here. And it coordinates back to the designer's choice kind of colorway. And you can place those right in there and have it. If you do pick up the um, binder, it does also have some um, magnetic um, pieces that you would put in there if you want to remove this from the carrier sheet it comes from and put them on there on those. So let's open this up. So uh, what's really nice about this one um, is that there are two of each of these, but I do want you to notice that one is different than the other. Okay, so you do need as many of one of these pieces that makes the panels as the other. And we have our shape here that we do need six side pieces, right? So one for each side. So we will talk about that in just a minute. But I do want to show you again with Tonic, you know, as much as as little as you want to do dressing it up. We have um, our main pieces. Each of those main pieces has a couple of layers. So if you want to cut out the this piece here, but you also want to do the insert, you can do that. Or just this piece by itself. Or, you know, I wouldn't put the insert on this by itself because this is part of the mechanism that's going to lock in and you don't want it to be too weak so you actually want it to be sturdier in my opinion so i wouldn't just cut the you know that delicate look into this main piece i would definitely put it on one of these inserts um there's a little piece that you can decorate the um this section here this section once it's covered up is going to be not so visible so that's up to you but you know for your recipient they'll see it when they open it up so we do have like a little cute um a uh, ruffled edge here or just a straight edge one here. Then again, straight edges over here, all these straight edges with the different drop-ins. We have the little uh, ruffled edge here um, with the different drop-ins that obviously you can mix and match however you want in between those. Um, these little pieces even uh, coordinate on the very side pieces that help you put your box together. So they even have pieces for that if you want to deck that out. There's this gorgeous drop-in. I'm assuming that goes in the leaf here. Or is it just another, hmm. Okay, yeah, no, it goes in here. So it's another one if you want to, to um, customize your drop-ins that way. So there's literally three of those. Um, there are uh, this other little piece you can drop in here. These larger pieces for the larger piece. Um, and then wording, right? So we have um, something about little box. I can read little box. And you know how I am. Fun, I think this is fun little box. And then... Um, a little something right here on that one. Super cute. We also have a little rolled flower, which I love those kind of dies, so that's really fun. You can you can quill it, you know, with a quilling tool, or you can just roll it um, as well as you can with your hands and just glue it to this middle piece here. Um, super cute. So what I'm going to do, and again, the leaf there with its um, insert or not, um, I am going to uh, pull out some papers and we will get started. Okay, I think the colorways I'm going to go with are, are very reminiscent of the... Um, tonic craft kit for the um, month and so I want to go with that so I have some opera red mirror card here I think it's gonna be look very lovely um, the base of the card I want to construct it with this this is some craft perfect perfect sorry in maroon red um, because you want something sturdy and sometimes you know when you use specialty papers that maybe they might crack or other things so like I don't want to uh, deal with that right now so I'm going to use this paper for the base of our gift box very nice and sturdy and then I'll probably accent it with this glazed chestnut that is gorgeous so uh, I'm going to put those to the side for a moment and basically what I'm going to do is just cut out three of these right because we're going to have them lock into each other so you need three of these and you need three of this um, opposite 
of these guys. So I'm going to cut out basically six in total, but three and three. And then I need a card base. And I might cut out two of these, um, a box base, should I say. Because um, you can put your pieces on there and then you can also sandwich it or however you want to make it look uh, lovely. But however you want to work this, you only need really one base to attach your pieces to but if you want to then cover the little uh, tabs that are in here you would need two of these so i might cut out two we'll see how it goes um but when i come back i'll have these cut out and we'll put together the basic box and then from there it's all embellishment okay i have all my pieces here and again three of the um the one that doesn't have that little kind of slit cut in it and three that do okay and what we're going to do is we're going to draw i did cut two of these out like i said i'm not sure if i'm going to use both but um the right side of the paper, I'm gonna have it facing down and the wrong side facing up. And we're just gonna go around, we're gonna stick these down. Now, I normally like to train things before I do anything. So I'm gonna train these all in. And then these guys are gonna to hook together and that's what makes that cute little kind of scallop all around your box. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just get those back. So I'm gonna do that with all of my pieces. This bottom piece forward. And then the rest of the pieces back. And while you're at it, you might as well um, do the this part too. This goes forward. This is all going to go forward. And then these kind of go like this. But just to get it going so you don't have to do that later. Get them all kind of trained up. And I'll be right back. Okay, I have all my pieces kind of folded forward. So what I'm going to do is just take these and glue them down. So again, I have the wrong side facing. And sometimes I like to do two at a time. I like to use wet glue. If you want to use you know something that's not a wet glue, that's up to you. Go for it. Um, you can put the glue on the actual piece or on here, and we're just going to start layering these on here. And so what I like to do is just take a look and make sure I have it exactly on the edge. And here too, and give it a good squeeze. Since I'm using the deluxe adhesive, we know it dries very quickly, or at least sets up very quickly. And I'll take the next one and add it on here. Just make sure where I'm putting it. Get it nice and close, you know, nice and centered because you know this other piece, we're going to come through later and glue those together. So I'll just go around all six sides here and glue them all down. Now, as I'm doing this, I forgot to mention, <laughs> you want to pair them up. Um, so the one that's across from this side should have the slit open and then the one that's across from this side should have the slit. So they're in pairs of one that has a slit and one that doesn't, okay? And normally I would go around and go, this one has a slit, that one doesn't, this one has a slit, that one doesn't. That's kind of how I'm matching them up. But however it is that you want to do it, just make sure that um, you are putting them across from each other. So let me point that out so I can, we can really talk about this. So I'm gonna hold this down. So these two that are right across from each other, one has a slit, one does not. These two, they're gonna end up being across from each other, this one and this one here. This one will have a slit because this one does not. And this one has a slit, so the one on this side that I pair up here would be the next one, does not, okay? But again, like I said, if you start with one with a slit, one doesn't, one, one doesn't, one, and one doesn't, you'll be fine, as long as you alternate them, okay? I'll be right back. Last piece here, and I was doing it all in the, up at here, because that's how I like to work with it. But if you wanna work with it down, you're just gonna, you know, open these up and just flatten everything out. Now, this closes up like this pretty tight, so it's very difficult to see all the way inside the box, but if you want it there for sturdiness or just because you like something to be more complete or however, you can put a second uh, shape right in here, okay? So I think I'm gonna do, I just wanna make sure that I had enough room to put that in there. Yeah, perfect. So I'm gonna put some glue on here just to sturdy that up and um, place that in there and wait for it to set up a little bit and I'll be right back. And again, it's always up to you. Do you like to decorate first, then put it together? I always pretty much add the decoration afterwards and um, so that's what I'm still gonna do. So what we're gonna do is when you look at your box, you have these little pieces and I suppose if you wanted to, you could fold them in and not have them showing. If you fold them inwards like this and glue them together then, they'll be on the inside and you won't see them. But um, for me, it's part of the design here. So I'm just gonna fold these out and I'll put a little glue on one of them Bring the other one to meet up. And you guys know this glue sets up really fast, so almost as soon as you put them together, it's gonna hold. So I'm gonna hold that. And you know, you can do a couple at a time if you're so inclined. <laughs> just hold them together, match them up, hold it together. And I'll go around the whole bottom, just matching up these guys 
and holding together. When I come back, we're gonna do this top section. Okay, so again, I was just doing two at a time. It works up really quickly for such an intricate, cute little box. So we have these pieces, and now I'm gonna glue these together. I'm gluing them. I suppose if you wanted to leave it alone and just meet these up, you know, when we go to do that, that's up to you, but I'm pretty sure we need to close it up. So I'm just gonna put this on here. And again, trying to get it, you know, over the whole little tab and doing two at a time just to make it a little quicker here. So I was holding it. When I'm holding that one, I put a little glue on the next one, but you can do them one at a time. And then I hold them for a few seconds and move on to the next pair. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so there's our little box as you can see. <laughs> Super cute, it reminds, it reminds me of like a perfume bottle while it's open like this. But okay, so I'm gonna put these back just a little bit so we can kind of take a gander in here and see what all is going on. So I'm just bending those back. As you can see, it has a nice little center area there. And the box is, you know, it's, cut, it's about four inches at the base <laughs> from this end to this end, a little bit smaller. And the height of it is about two and a half inches, maybe? A little more. Um, and then what we're gonna do is take these and s put one inside the other. Now, obviously I haven't decorated this yet, but this is basically what we're, what we're going for. So you're gonna bring it together and come to one corner, bring it in, and then the other corner, All right? Same thing with this guy, we're gonna bring it in and then tuck the one corner in, tuck in your other corner. So cute, it's already shaping up, look at that. And then our last little guy. And bring it in, again, get one corner in, and then our other corner. It's getting a little tighter because of all the layers, but there it is. Oopsie, hold on. There it is, <laughs> all right, perfect. So there is the top with the pretty like kind of flower look on the very top, and then our little base box now oh, what we're gonna do is decorate so we have lots of things uh, i think what i'm gonna do is probably use the sparkly the shiny red the metallic red on the very top so um i'm going to use this one because i like the little you know little extra bit on the side and, and this one has a straight side um our little ruffle I don't, I don't know why i keep calling it a ruffle but anyway <laughs> so we have that we have different drop-ins this one's very pretty very floral if you look at it it looks more like a leaf so i'm gonna use that one um so what i'm gonna do is with the kind of brown paper this guy here i'm going to cut just this as a base and on top of that i'm gonna use the red metallic paper and i'm gonna cut these guys together at the same time so whenever i do that i'll put them on my metallic paper put some tape run them through together so you get your whole uh, piece cut out at once and that's just for the top and then the sides you know you can do a whole panel you can do a little bit you can do your cut-ins you can do whatever you like so when i come back i'll have different pieces cut that we're going to be ready to decorate our um box with and i'll see you on the other side okay so i cut out several things here so for the very top this is what i'm going to do i have that gorgeous paper i'm going to put the um metallic paper over it and for these little middle pieces you know we can do our little trick If you need to put the glue on the back of your hand and do that, I'm gonna place it on here. And you do want this to be very um, flat so that when you're going to do your box, you know, they don't get caught on these little tendrils, right? So we do wanna put a good amount of glue. That's gonna dry clear, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Just wiping that away. And that's for the petals, so I'll do that for all six petals. And then for the uh, base, I have this cut out in that metallic, and then I cut this one out with this as a little something. Actually, I'll use this one since I saw the poke some stuff out of that one. And we'll put that on here. And I'm gonna do a little something all around on each and every one, but you don't have to do that. I mean, you can put the sentiment here and there or maybe every other one or just one of them, however you wanna do that. And so I have that there. And then for the little top section, I just cut out um, the smaller piece there of uh, the glazed chestnut paper. And I'm just gonna glue those on. So what I will do is go around, glue these on, centered, glue these on, centered. I'll open this up and then glue on our little petals. Okay guys, as I go to glue down the petals, I just wanted to show you what that's looking like. I just put one down, would hold it, put the next one down, hold it. Really, really pretty. So when you go to put your petals on, just remember that they lock in like this, right? So really, if you open this up, 
you're not putting the petals on this side, you're putting it on this outer side, okay? So, uh, again, I'm just gonna glue and add them on all around. Okay guys, so I'm at the end here, and of course, again, we have that little rolled flower, so many other things that we can add on or do whatever you like. Um, but I'm just finishing up, so I just wanna show you I got those down. And then again, just put that right in there and slide one side so that it goes all the way down to the bottom so that you can get the other side in right there. Look at that, oh my gosh. It reminds me of like a little chocolate covered cherry. <gasps> Maybe that's what you can put in here. <laughs> that would be so pretty. So thanks for watching guys. I'll have the links in the description box. Thank you so much Tonic for sponsoring the video and for sending these items for my review. Look at this gorgeousness, my goodness. All right guys, I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.